Hey everyone, my name is Emilio Vieira. I play Fletcher in The Miser. Hi, I'm Jacob Beeman. I play Crab Sky. <laughs> hey, I'm Jamie Mack, and uh, I play Victor in The Miser. Uh, today, we're going to be playing a game called Most Likely 2. We're going to get a couple questions and write down what character we think is most likely to so and so with this and that. If you've seen the, the show already, feel free to play along at home. See which one of us you're most like. Okay, the first one is the most likely to already own the just released iPhone 14. I know exactly who it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw yours first. <laughs> okay. Look, Amelia. Okay, okay, look. are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, three, two, one. I said Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. No. My you said Faye? Yeah, Faye. No, guys, obviously the answer is Skip the Dishes Girl. I think, because I think it she, is. Man. I've delivered for Skip the Dishes. you got to have the updated phone. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, it's chaos. Your phone is overheating. You can't get to your orders on time. You're not, you're not, so it's, it's definitely going to be either Crab's Guy or Skip the Dishes Girl. See, I'm, I'm ready to accept that. That's, that's fine. I just thought Charlie because Charlie seems like the bougiest out of everybody who like wants to signal, look at all my wealth, even though he has none. Yeah, but he doesn't have enough money to buy. You know how expensive that thing is? I know, but he's been pawning off his watch to get in on poker night, and maybe he pawns off the, one of the capes. I don't know. I guess so. I feel like he, he, he needs something that's more presenting. He needs the flashier clothes, like the phone's in your pocket all the time. You have I to said, explain Faye. Why uh, Faye? Well, Faye, I thought, Faye, you know, she's also got a sort of wealthy appearance, and I feel like she actually has money. You know, maybe it was just before the lawsuit stuff's she happening. Might have money, yeah. She might secretly have money. So I thought, I thought, you know, Charlie is the initial uh, answer that it seems obvious, but I don't think he's got the cash for I, that. I'm right. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's next? Most likely to secretly practice TikTok dances in the mirror before bed. <laughs> oh, oh, this is, no, this is even better. Mm. Three, two, one. What do you got, guys? I went Claudia or Ellie. I think it's this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be secret about it. Because when you see the miser and you see his entrance and you see his dancing and the way you rehearsed it, I feel like... You know, you don't just wing that. There's a lot of knees going on in your... It's, well, it's true. It's all knees. Yes. Do you want to give them a little taste? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is Crab's guy. And rolls out. This, everybody, everybody uh, do a little knees. No, I said Claudia or Ellie because, well, initially I thought Ellie, but then that's just Alexandra constantly doing TikTok, Instagram things backstage. She is always so ready I went, to do. Is that the character or is that just the actor? And then I went, maybe it's Claudia because she's like kind of on her phone and I don't know. I think Claudia is like in the mirror, like practicing how she's gonna make fun of people doing TikTok dances. Like <laughs> I she, feel like she secretly maybe wants to have a, a, a dance for Mervyn. Have you seen the relationship oh, that builds? Between which is why it's secretly. Uh huh. I, don't know. I said Charlie. <laughs> but also, secret is the part that kind of stands out. It's like, I don't think he would be secret about it. He'd be openly oh, TikTok right, dancing. Right. Yeah. All righty. Most likely to <laughs> be a wealth simple client. Mm. Mm. You can do it, Amelia. Okay. Ready? Victor, <gasps> big crypto guy. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I said Emilio Fletcher. Oh, I was gonna say myself too, but then I thought Faye. I thought maybe Faye's the one who's trying to, um, you know, with all the lawsuit problems, trying to, you know, be smart with her money. Nobody else in the play really feels like. Why don't you say Victor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought you'd like, uh, you know, you've got like, you know, that you're going to be wealthy someday, so you're trying to be like smart about what you're. He has a wealth simple account. There's just no money. There's in no it. money in it. <laughs> But you saw the commercials, they're flashy. I think Fletcher, because we do have evidence, he's the only one we literally do see his cell phone in the show. You got, you got some wealth on you, you have some glitz, some glam, so. Mm -hmm. It's more tangibles, though. It's not that wealth simple money. Yeah, I think wealth simple's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to choose property brothers over diners, drive-ins, and dives every day. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. Mine isn't, the reason I think Mervyn is I think he might be like the forgotten older property brother. Like he's actually in that family. <laughs> That's good. 
Uh, yeah, I chose Arthur. I think that he doesn't actually know what Property Brothers is, or diners, drive-ins, and desks. But he's like got it on his like PVR because he's got so many properties that he's like maybe I should, I should probably look into that. <laughs> <laughs> the houses are beautiful. It's excellent. I, I put Jacob's prologue delivery guy, not to be mistaken with Crabs Man, yeah, because well, he is a, a character in his own right, being in the in the junk delivery business mm -hmm. to all of these nice houses, he might have some interest mm -hmm. in... Uh... Remember when he used to ride the bike in rehearsal? Do you not do that anymore? No, you got in trouble for that. How many nameless people that deliver things do I play in this show? Get <laughs> <laughs> your tickets now to find out. <laughs> this is the most likely to wear socks with sandals. Mm. Oh, wait, now that is tricky. Okay, here we go. Okay. Most likely to wear socks with sandals. Boom! We have Detective Cummings, we have Jack, and we have Harper. But I went Detective Cummings because socks and sandals, such a dad move, and he's just got that dad energy. I think Jack, I'm pretty sure he wears... Crocs. Crocs, which, are they sandals, are they... Let's not start the things that we can't answer. Yeah, it's obviously Jack. I think it's Harper because uh, he does like to show off his legs a little bit. He does show his legs to Faye at one point. However, he likes to be economical, so he's gonna have the temperature turned quite low, so it's gonna be cold in, but sometimes he might wanna be like, you know, he puts on his nice pair of, uh, because he wants to show off a little bit of leg, but he doesn't wanna be cold, so he puts those socks on. So he's got the socks and the sandals and the shorts <laughs> in his house. Do you, uh, do you have a dramatic piece you'd like to do for us now? <laughs> that was my dramatic piece. <laughs> All right, most likely to know what the kissing booth is. I don't think I know what that is. Is it a book or something? Are we all stupid? Mm. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I got the book. Okay, 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 okay. Right, give me a sec, give me a sec. Just say someone. Yeah, right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, well. one. <laughs> Who'd you put? So, none okay. of us know who at the kissing booth is. <laughs> we all have our educated guests. Yeah, you started. Well, Emilio. I went with Mr. Simon because, like, man of mystery, man of incredible knowledge. Uh, Michael Spencer Davis probably knows what the kissing booth is. He's well read. Well read, yeah. One would assume maybe it's, it's a, a book. book. Maybe it's a movie. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a reality TV show. What do you think, Jake? Yeah, I don't know. It sounded like something like at a fair in like the 1930s, and I thought the only person alive for that would be Harper. Like, <laughs> that's you know pretty I mean? good. Like, no, that's like pretty it's good. a legit kissing booth. You pay to like kiss some. The only person alive. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's got to be Faye because I'm starting to think now something's coming to my memory that maybe this is a reality TV show, and I feel like she does watch some daytime TV. Mm -hmm. And she. When has she never? not given satisfaction, is that mm -hmm. She, you know, so she might have some experience, I think. I think she's got a lot of lovers out there. giving satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, what, what's the kissing booth? Okay, this is the kissing booth. This is not what I thought it was. <laughs> was that Timothy Chalamet? It's certainly not. Timothy Chalamet years. light. <laughs> you're not allowed to watch the show if you're over 30, I think. Oh, it's like Wait, how I met that? your mother for nowadays. Is that Molly tweens. Ringwald? It's Molly Ringwald. That guy's hunky. People are so pretty. I hate this. <laughs> I think I've seen enough. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have to stop this. He's too good it's looking. It's very, very, very well done. <laughs> Thanks for playing along with us today. We are the cast of The Miser. You can catch The Miser from now until October 29th. Playing where, Jamie Mack? At the Stratford Festival. <laughs>